Introduction to Environmental Management. Our learning objectives in today's study are the following. We are going to define and connect envir environment, management, systems, and organizations to environmental management. We are going to realize the significance of systems and their role in the environmental management. We are going to describe how environmental management can manage risks and be used as environmental protection. We are going to recognize and appreciate the benefits of an effective environmental management system. We are going to understand the objective of environmental management system and practice waste reduction. According to Marley Matlin, the earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Since we do not own the earth, we don't possess the earth, it's not our own. Therefore, we are living here just like someone who is renting a certain space or a certain house. We have a rent to pay in living on this earth. And then to rent is to contribute for the good of the environment, for the good of all that is on earth. We have to make sure that everything we do will not cause harm or destruction. Now we are going to define what is environment. The word environment is from the medieval friends in environment that is used to describe the action of surrounding something and also to refer to conditions in which a person or other organism lives and develops. Environment represents all surrounding to an existing being. It refers to the external settings and circumstances in broad spectrum influencing the natural life, cycle, and survival of all living and non-living creatures. The environment includes the set of natural, social, and cultural morals and ethics presented in a specific location at a precise period, which has an impact in the existence of the humankind and in the generations to take place. It is not only the place in which life progress, but it moreover incorporates living creatures, object, objects, water, soil, air, and the associations connecting all of them on top of intangibles like culture. The Environment Day is celebrated every 5th of June of every year. The concept of environment in its broad spectrum theory of systems and environment is a composite of outside features that operates in a system and establish their track and mode of survival and continuity. In the figure below, we could say that the environment is composed of natural resources and that of artificial or man-made resources. The natural resources are converted into artificial and man-made through what we call a human action. What are natural resources? These are resources found in nature that man uses to meet their needs. Now, the question is, can people change natural resources? Yes, anything that is crafted by humans that does not transpire naturally in the environment is man-made. They are also known as artificial resources. These are materials from the natural environment that people convert to produce other things with the aid of tools and creativity. What are natural and man-made? Natural resources, we have here the following examples. Land can be the form of soil mountains, fields, and we also have water. We have river, lake, and sea. These are bodies of water. Air could be the form of oxygen. Dance could be the form of trees or forest. For animals, it can provide meat, milk, and wool. For environment, it could be, for instance, buildings. For making a building, we need to make use of different natural resources. You could make use of soil. You could make use of wood coming from trees. 
bottled water, of course, natural resources, such as water, and of course, air. That's why we create, uh, we make balloon, we have paper products, process, canned meat. These are examples of man made resources. Humans are gifted with the skills to transform raw materials that may be provided by nature and produce something else. If, for example, trees provide wood that skilled hands can convert into furniture like cabinets, chairs, and tables. A house can also be built from wood. The management of resources. We have raw materials, plus tools, and skills would produce man-made resources. Now, what is management? Management in the, is the uh, synchronization of the activities of a firm in order to accomplish and different goals and intentions. Management consists of the interconnecting tasks of designing corporate policies and procedures toward the realization of organizations of ventures. Management makes use of people, process, and of course, there's discipline. The wonders of nature. There had been a lot of changes to the wonders of nature. They were in the first picture on the left side, face full of glaciers. Now, because of the change of temperature, it's becoming warm, it's becoming hot in the atmosphere. And so these glaciers are melted into water. And so we have these bodies of water. Environmental factors. Environmental factors come in different ways. We have physical factors, biological factors, socioeconomic factors, or physical factors that could include climate or geology. For biological factors, we have human populations, flora, fauna, and of course, water. For socioeconomic factors, we have the following, employment, urbanization, and social context. Environmental management. This is an administrative function that expand, execute, and observe the environmental guidelines and procedures for a firm in an attempt to manage impact on the environment to protect and conserve natural resources. Environmental management centers on the development of human welfare for existing and future generations. It also involves people, process, and discipline. Now, why are we studying environmental management? First reason is to discover, understand, betray, and how to utilize techniques for evaluating and supervising the environmental consequences of both public and private sector organizations. Second reason would be to expand individual, specialized, and research expertise in how to contribute to the development of our environment. Third would be to implement certain management tools and methodology that can be applied in relevance to prospective business in accordance to the rules and laws set forth by the government at all levels, such as local, regional, national, and of course, global. To understand that environmental management is a consensus effort of all concerned in bringing together in harmony all efforts to tackle environmental crises that affect the entire planet. Current condition of our environment, we have a problem of pollution, waste disposal, natural resource depletion, climate change, and overpopulation. What could you possibly do to contribute in improving our present environmental condition? If not us, then who? If not now, then when? Moreover, how could we unite and adhere collectively as one nation to support our planet and create a better dwelling for everyone to inhabit. We must act now before it's too late. Environmental management includes the, these uh, following components. Environmental planning, conservation and preservation of resources, environmental status evaluation, and environmental legislation and administration. What do you mean by environmental planning? It is actually a decision-making process aim to carry out development in consideration to the natural environment or to the natural environment in general. 
Its goal is to create sustainable outcomes while protecting and conserving natural resources. How about conservation and preservation of resources? This is the uh, ethical allocation, usage, and protection of indispensable resources in order to maintain the natural habitat for both the present and future generations. Environmental status evaluation. This is also known as environmental assessment. It is the process of estimating and calculating significant short-term and long-term outcomes and consequences of any implemented undertakings with respect to its impact on the environment. After thorough evaluation, certain steps must now be considered to reduce or alleviate such effects to somehow compensate for whatever damages incurred. Impact assessment is based on environmental assessment. Environmental legislation and administration. The environmental administration is defined by its legal content. The heart of environmental law management is directed toward dealing with environmental pollution. The environmental policy centers on snags evolving from the blows created by humans who triggered negative impact not only in the environment, but more importantly, on our health. Environmental management system, or what we call EMS, it is the part of the overall management system that includes organizational structure, planning activities, responsibilities, practices, procedures, process, and resources for developing, implementing, achieving, and reviewing the environmental policy. 